All right. This is Juan Basil Court. Nice landscaping. Plenty of space between the houses and the front. It's pie shaped though. It narrows in the back, so it's a little less less private in the back. There's the electrical stuff well hidden behind the chair landscaping. Your mailbox is there. Across the street is a berm, and then you have power lines. Okay, and this is the side of the house on the next street. This, by the way, Basil Court dead ends. It has about eight houses on it, maybe nine. And this is off of Biltmore, so you've got a nice, nice neighborhood here. Spoke to one of the gentlemen who live in the neighborhood. And it's quite nice. You can see this mature landscaping here, nice magnolia. Nice work around the uh, plantings. Great space here on the left again. It is stucco. It's been replaced on the left and the right side. It does have a side door out of the garage and two car garage. So the stucco has been painted in the front and on the side. And you've got pavers. They painted the pavers in the front. You're gonna hear me walking, squeaking around here. My feet got just a little wet, but it'll dry off here in a second. And this is the Heather model. So let's head on in. You've got Wayne's coating on the front for your entryway and a window, double window. Kind of a nice setting. New, uh, Luxury vinyl plank. I felt a couple bubbles walking around earlier. So it needs a little bit of extra work here. New cabinets. Looks like they put in the put or put those in around the original granite countertops, left those. But the cabinets and trim work and the painting in here is nice. You've got a light over the sink. Let me get that on. Okay, they put an LED in there, that's nice. And this is open into the great room, living room. You might see a little uh, place for a chandelier for the dining area, the table would go right here and then the living area next to that. Then they put in a sunroom, plus a screen porch with nice uh, towel pavers and a little patio looking out over the woods. We'll see that in just a second. The lower level has uh, small plantation shutters. On the front, it's all tinted glass and has the bushes so they didn't put them there. And your little breakfast area in the kitchen with a little pantry. Okay. And they've got new appliances in here. Dishwasher, got the stainless steel and black, Samsung microwave, Samsung range, electric cooktop, Samsung refrigerator, and Samsung on the dishwasher too. Now over here, like in all these models, you have a washer and dryer area closet. Some people will turn that into a pantry and put the washer and dryer out here in the garage. They put a couple cabinets up here. You've got in the back left, that's the uh, hurricane shutters. They don't really need them. They're not even required anymore. You do have a little bit of venting to the attic. They put a fan in here. You got your side door, your glass hot water heater, your pull down stairs up to the attic. You have a slop sink, a little work area. So some people put the washer dryer out here and then convert the uh, the utility closet into a big pantry. So, preference. So you can see the floors as we head on in. These are all newly installed. You've got this nice, uh, nice Kohler sink and 50-50 with a, with a disposal. You've got soft clothes, 
on the doors. You got a slide out. That cabinet's not soft close. I mean that drawer, but the see they put it in the nice little hinges. It's pretty simple. Okay. And backsplash is kind of a subway tile backsplash, but it has it's not it's it's got some contouredness to it. Alright, so from the foyer we're gonna head into where the dining room would be. Dining area, then the living area, and I'll turn around and show you the front door. They do not have a uh, storm door on there. It's a six foot eight door. It has crown molding around the home everywhere, which is nice. Nice casement windows, and the wains coating there. So yeah. you've got mature hedges all the way around the home, and. The bubble I felt, which I felt again, was right here on this transition. Anyway, it's new and it, it can do that. So, head back through the living area, you have your entertainment wall over here, your nice ceiling fan. You've got the sunroom with a double slider, heading out to the uh, screen porch. And you've got, you got plantation shutters on the lower end here. Lower, not lower end, but the lower uh, section of the windows and the tile here. You do have some power out here as well. And lights, ceiling fan. And then here's the view from as soon as I step onto the porch. Show you the panoramic view here. Looking back at the woods. The other home, since this is a narrow in the back lot, pie shaped with the narrow part in the back, you see a little more of the houses back here, but this is a huge porch, quite nice. It's nice to have a ceiling fan. You have a little patio they painted with the gray deck paint. And then you have your landscaping. So you can see the space here between you and the neighbors. The back of the house looks nice. Side yard again. Very peaceful and quiet back here. sure about the power. I see a power outlet here below the uh, light. They changed that light apparently. Head back in and go see the bedrooms. So, there's a view of the living area again. This is the primary bedroom with a big bay window, four windows, which is quite nice. Crown molding all the way around. And the new luxury vinyl plank goes throughout the whole house. This is the primary bathroom, new countertop, new, well, the cabinets may be original. The, the mirror has to be replaced. You can see where they had the uh, where it used to go inside this framing. So they're probably just waiting on that to come in now. <coughs> new uh, cabinet, I mean, new toilets. It's a comfort height and elevated uh, countertop, which is nice. Then you have a big walk-in closet, which is double racked perfectly and goes way around. So you have lots of space here and you do have a vent for air conditioning, but you also have the pop-up here for the air handler servicing. There's a light switch, takes care of that here. 
so that it's on with the red light and the HVAC people can come in and service your refrigerator. I mean, your, uh, yeah, if they have to put refrigerant in or anything else, they can take care of the HVAC. And then here is the shower. It's a fiberglass insert with two seats. So they haven't done anything to the shower and I can't tell if this is new, new, freshly painted in here or not. Probably. So we'll head back to the guest bedrooms. So in the wing over here first, it's a den, there's no door. So this is like your office does have a closet. You could put a door in here easily enough, make it a bedroom if you wanted, or you can leave it open like this if you want for a little extra den. Then you have your full bath, new tile, new countertop, new toilet, new mirror, new light fixture. Then the uh, transom above the standard fiberglass tub shower combination. Okay, just to give you a little brighter look there. Okay. And then the other guest bedroom is back here behind the garage. Kind of standard. When I go into these thresholds, it sometimes feels a little bubbly on the uh, flooring. It does have the foot molding and the crown moldings. And nice ceiling fan and a window so it, it works as a guest room or an extra office if you needed to and and then in this little hallway is a linen closet crown molding all the way around. There's a coat closet right here. They have it for supplies because they've been doing remodeling work. And then you have your bar top counter into the kitchen to give it more of an open feel. So there you go. I hope that gives you a pretty good feel for the place. Call me if you have any questions.